Hello guys and welcome back to another video tutorial from my YouTube channel that is biology at your fingertips and today we are learning a very simple a very interesting as well as a very important topic from chapter evolution that is the chemical evolution so what do you mean by chemical evolution chemical evolution says that the first life on our planet comes from the interaction of various kind of chemicals which may be complex organic molecules which are formed from interactions of simple organic molecules so let's understand this particular chemical evolution which is given by two scientists that are opening and Haldane. There are some points which are important about these two scientists. Oparin is from Russia and he wrote a book which is the origin of species. This is very important question because in past years in AIPMT it is like a provision to ask the author of a particular book. So this can be asked this year most probably. So Oprin is from Russia and he wrote a book The Origin of Species. Haldane is a scientist from England. So what's special about Haldane? Haldane has got citizenship for living in India. This is very important. Haldane is from England and he's got Indian citizenship. So the first form of life arise from pre-existing. The organisms that are pre-existing that are small and non-living because they are making the first life it means they are non-living organic molecules which may be complex molecules such as RNA, proteins, fats or some kind of polysaccharides so the first form of life arises from pre-existing small non-living organic molecules and organic molecules have different kinds and we will discuss it in this particular part of this lecture so this is the particular direction in which evolution or the formation of life is taking place. How the life has arised? Let us understand that there were some free atoms. And what are the most important free atoms? If you don't know superintendent of police of your locality and someone would ask you that you know SP, then you would probably be asking Con SP. Which simply means C H O N con S P that is carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, and phosphorus. These are the six main free atoms present in the surrounding in past. They constitute or they just interact to form some kind of inorganic molecules which are hydrogen, water, ammonia, and carbon dioxide. Those inorganic molecules interact to form first organic molecules which are very simple in nature such as methane as well as hydrogen cyanide. These organic molecules then further interact to form some kind of simple organic molecules and these are monomers for example sugar which are monosaccharide as this is the monomer, amino acid which is the monomer of protein, glycerol as you all know that fatty acid and glycerol combines to form fat therefore this is also a small unit of a fat fatty acid which will combine with glycerol to form a fat and fat is a polymer these two are monomers and nitrogenous bases and these nitrogenous bases will combine to form nucleic acids so these are some kind of simple organic molecules which will then polymerize to form different kind of polymeric forms polymers for example, monomers or monosaccharides will form polysaccharides, amino acids will form proteins, fatty acid and glycerol combines to form fat and nitrogenous bases will combine to form nucleic acid and they may be RNA that is ribonucleic acid as well as DNA deoxyribose nucleic acid based on their sugar. Ribonucleic acid has ribose sugar and DNA that is deoxyribose nucleic acid has deoxyribose sugar in it. So these are some kind of complex organic molecules formed by the interaction of simple organic molecules or from the polymerization of simple organic molecules. So these particular complex organic substances which we have talked about small non-living organic molecules such as RNA proteins and some kind of polymers will then form the first life which is very important. So this is the particular sequence that some free atoms that is corn sp 
has interacted and got converted into some inorganic molecules then they further converted into first organic molecule then simple organic molecules complex organic molecules and then life so what are some important factors in the past what was the atmosphere at that time and what were the conditions which are responsible for the formation of life the first is temperature there is very high temperature in past it is approximately 800 degree celsius there were volcanic eruptions due to which the temperature is quite high there are lot of volcanoes at that particular time and the environment is reducing why the environment is reducing because there is no free oxygen in atmosphere no free oxygen in atmosphere therefore these three are the conditions important for the origination of life that is the temperature is very high volcanic eruptions and the atmosphere is quite reducing at that particular time so the inorganic molecules when undergone some chemical reactions to form organic molecules this particular reactions are known as chemical evolution or chemical evolution is the formation of some organic products by the interaction of some inorganic molecules this is very important from examination point of view and those inorganic molecules interact with each other to form the first life that we are talking about which is the main topic so in this particular series of reactions there are some factors which are very responsible for doing all this these are thundering or lightning which i have shown with red marker the source of energy the source of energy is needed for each and every chemical reaction and that particular source of energy is sun air so we are talking about solar energy as well as some kind of heat and energy is produced by the volcanic eruptions and some kind of water droplets are also needed the water about which we are talking about is coming via the rain so these are some external factors which you can just note down and remember as in diagram so this is the particular lecture which shows each and everything about opening helden hypothesis or the chemical evolution so i think that this particular lecture is going to help you a lot in your examination thank you so much guys for watching this video if you really like this video then hit like button and if you are new then please subscribe to my channel thank you so much again for watching this video